All right, guys, let's do some audience participation here. Got a unique opportunity. I want to put some stuff to the test. And I want you guys to tell me what it is we're going to test. Here's what we got. These are the pistons and rods out of Stubby's Slant 6, the turbo build. So he pulled the motor apart yesterday, the day before yesterday. The block is over at the machine shop now getting cut for new pistons. And we've got these things. And my next step was to pull these pistons off the rods, which means a lot of heat. But before I do that, we have an opportunity to test something here. So in the past, we've done a few videos on freeing stuck engines. And this is important. This is an important visual for you guys because a lot of you, you you'll buy an engine sight unseen. It's stuck. It's been sitting for a long time. This is what it looks like inside. Like this is a typical stuck engine. So what we've got here is out of these six, two of them are relatively free. You see, like this piston here has free top and second ring. The oil ring is stuck in here. All six of these pistons have stuck oil rings, but these are free up top. These four, on the other hand, this is the only one. This one has a, a, a relatively free, it has a partially stuck top ring, but the second ring and the oil ring are both stuck. Here, same thing, partially free top ring. Well, actually, this would be very free, but the second ring and the oil ring are both stuck. Same thing here, same thing here. So, four pistons, each of them have a stuck oil ring and a stuck second ring. So, every time we've done a video on freeing stuck engines, we've showed our methods, explained how, why we do it, how it works, but there's always a bunch of really good suggestions in the comments. Different chemicals, different procedures. Some of them are really good. Some of them are off the wall. But here's a chance to put them all to the test. We have four stuck rings, four, stuck, four pistons with stuck rings. What I want to do is, you guys, in the comments, list the one thing you would use. You list the one thing you think would penetrate and free these rings. And says so none of them have any physical damage. They're all held in place with rust and carbon just build up, just gack. So there's no physical damage to overcome. I know this one looks a little scratched here, but it's 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 okay. It's that has nothing. It doesn't intrude up into the uh, into the ring. So, what four things should we try on this? In the comments, list the one thing you think will do the job. And what we'll do is today's Friday. It's Friday afternoon. So we'll let the video run till tomorrow, through tomorrow. Sunday night on our Sunday night live, we'll tally up the, the, the top four things. So it could be what WD-40, PB blaster, uh, the seafoam, transmission fluid, brake fluid, whatever it is. We'll tally up the top four. Monday, I'll drop though each of these pistons into one of those solutions and let them soak for 24 hours. And with Tuesday afternoon, we'll come back and shoot a video and see which one did the best job after a 40, after a 24 hour soak. So that's it, simple as that. Jump in the comments, list the one thing you think is gonna free this rusted, gacky oil ring and second ring on these pistons. And let's see what works and what doesn't. That's it, see you tomorrow.